This is a demonstration of the packet capture tool in NetScan Tools Pro 11. You find it under Manual Tools and I'm using the mouse wheel to scroll down to get to it. So here's packet capture and it's actually an external program so what we're going to do is press this button to launch it. Then I'm going to minimize NetScan Tools Pro. So this is the primary network interface on the computer. These other two are VMware interfaces. So we're going to allow all packet types and start the capture. Right now we're capturing packets and I'm going to refresh a web page so that we get quite a few packets come through. As you can see the packet count goes up as the packets go by. So we'll press stop capture here. And now you can see the packets that came in. You can see the source and destination IP address the protocol. In this case we have some ARP packets and then a bunch of TCP packets. There's a UDP packet right here. And we can capture a number of different kinds of packets. Let's go ahead and go back and look at that ARP packet. You can see that it shows the source and destination MAC address. Now you can double click on it and actually see the contents of the packet. You can see the header fields right here. It's decoded. Then you can press next packet and see the ARP reply. So you can see there's the reply. Then this is a TCP packet. You can see the contents of it. And it's actually an ACFIN packet. Go down and look for some more TCP packets like this. And as you can see it decodes right here what's actually in the packet as far as a hex decoder. Now I'm going to show you the right click options. There's quite a few here. You can search for things, you can um, show counts, you can find text in the packet, you can do filtering and copying particular rows to the clipboard. And one nice thing that you can do is you can save your capture for later and then reload it if you wish. You can also do various types of filtering right here. You can allow only certain types of packets to come in or filter by particular port numbers for TCP and UDP. One thing you can do that's kind of very powerful is you can open up the packet capture that you're looking at right now in another program. In this case, it's going into Wireshark. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shrink this down so we can see it. And there's the same packet capture as viewed in Wireshark. If you need to see more detail, Wireshark has a much better decoder. So that's how to use the packet capture tool in NetScan Tools Pro.